Hey, what is good guys? My name is D Free and welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. And in today's video, we'll be doing the Kid Vegeta Strike event here on Global. I think I did a video on this in Japanese when it came out a while ago. But anyways, um, you know, before we get started, uh, I wanted to talk about the tournament. So this is where we finished off. I put in some work the last day, 74.30. Oh, some people got banned. Oh, that's why. Because I was wondering why I didn't get the second Turles. Because I actually had a rank of 74.44 when it ended. And I was like, oh, rank of three consecutive. I'll get a second Turles. That's awesome. But 14 people must have got banned ahead of me. So it pushed me up. So that sucks. I'm pretty sure that's how it works anyway. But um, I didn't really do a video on it. I, I didn't, didn't, didn't really think about it. Didn't really too much care to. So I just thought I'd kind of drop it in an update video. I did the summons. And lo and behold, yes, once again, I've gotten dupes. It's to the point where, like, I've got, like, I've got all this shit, man. Like, I, I've got all these cards except for maybe the God Goku and the, the Super Saiyan Bardock, the new ones. Because right around then is when I stopped really buying on this game and stopped buying gems. So, like, all these cards in this damn character list, it, it's to the point where, like, I've got them. So what I'm going to do from here on out, that's the wrong banner, but you know what I meant. What I'm going to do from here on out is I'm just going to hold them because it's kind of disheartening, you know, playing the tournament. Okay, getting the 80 wins, which is what it is now, it would have been worse if it was still 100, and then getting the rank that you want, and you while you get the, the new SSR, which is the Turles in this case, and you get two tickets, but you use them and, and you get some stuff that you don't need, like for example, I got a Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I'm like, that's useless to me because I already have two maxed out already, I have one at Super Attack 10 and the other one at like Super Attack uh, uh, 5, but, but it's just there for shits and giggles because I wanted to keep the old one. So my Super Attack 10 one is Dragon Fist. I wanted to keep the old one with the Kamehameha. While I could feed it to him and get that Super Attack to 6, like, I don't care, man. Like, I, I just don't care about Super Attack leveling in most cases. I do with certain cards, but most of them, I'm just like, screw it. So a lot of times, they just get fed to the Baba Shop, especially when it's like Super Attack 1 to level 2. Like, why? That's so minuscule. It's such a minuscule damage increase. I really don't care in a lot of cases. So... You know, that's what I'm going to do from here on out. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the tournament. Let me know where you ranked and what you got from your SSR pools. But for today's video, we're going to be doing the Prodigy Prince, a chance to get SR Vegeta Kid. Kid Vegeta. <laughs> Vegeta Kid. Uh, so I've actually done this already, apparently. It's been a while. I haven't really been playing. Honestly, I don't play Dokkan that much anymore. Outside of my channel, like bringing content to you guys, I don't touch this game. I play a lot of Hunter x Hunter. Uh, Dino really got me into that game. So I really don't play this unless I'm bringing content to you guys. That's kind of like disheartening, seeing as how like, I've spent so much money on this account and whatnot. Mm. See, like, uh, this Vegito belongs to, I'm a saying, he hasn't played this game like really in months. <laughs> he literally only does summons. That's to the point where like I, I, bring, I play these events when there's new events, but that's about it. This is the team I'm rocking with. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, kick Vegeta's butt really quick. I hope that King Vegeta spawns because if King Vegeta spawns, it's a guaranteed drop. As you guys know, I, I really hate these strike events because I have horrible luck with drops. Um, I Also, the uh, the Frieza event is next like a lot of people predicted. I have a video on it. I'll, at the end of the video, there should be a little... Um, little overlay for you to click on and um you guys can watch that and check that out it's not a free to play guide i don't know if i'll be able to do that with this account um because there's certain well not to say that i won't be able to but there i don't know if i will do it because there's little intricacies to it that i may not be able to fulfill with this account right now um as, as specifically like certain cars if you got a higher super attack level haha <laughs> i know i was talking about that a minute ago and how i'm lazy um you know things like that we'll see but I do have a video on it where, in which I basically kick Freeze's ass. Uh, he has that new dot damage modifier that Gogeta has. It's like super catastrophic or whatever. Somebody correct me down below. And it's the highest modifier. If you guys didn't know, it goes basically normal. I just think it's just damage. Then it goes huge damage. Then it goes extreme damage. And super and supreme and, and catastrophic are on the same level. They're just different names. Basically, they do the same thing. And then they've got the new one that Gogeta has with the Frieza. So, uh... Oh, not bad. The prepare for battle link. Um, so he's got that, and he's he's really he's gonna hit you really fucking hard. Like if you let him hit you with a super attack, he'll probably hit you for four hundred plus. If it's not a strength card, if it's a strength card, he'll probably hit you for at least two hundred k plus. You know, like he'll still do two hundred thousand damage to you. Uh, the best blocker will be Golden Freeze AGL. So make sure you bring him. The reasoning behind that is because he's gonna do a flat damage reduction in that. He doesn't increase your defense like the physical Piccolo does. That's not as useful. You know, defense is an arbitrary stat in this game. It's just not necessary. I'm sorry. The best tanker in this game and will always probably be the best tanker unless another one comes out like him. Isn't the Metal Real Doe that has like 10,000 defense. It's the Golden AGL Frieza. 
uh, the the nuke of Frieza because he does like pass passive like 50 percent less or 70 percent less something like that while he has like a certain amount of HP. It's been so long since I've looked at that card, but he's basically how I kick that Frieza's butt because that Frieza literally did 40 damage to me on an attack that I'm telling you, on a non-strength type unit should do 500k, 400k at least. So he 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 just does a massive amount of damage. This Kabito Kai is actually very underrated. He has a very good passive. That's the only reason why he's here. <laughs> it's the only reason. Um, but yeah, so that, that's pretty much where we're at. And Vegeta is basically getting mollywopped here, and his dad didn't spawn, so that's fun. So hopefully I get the drop because I'm going to be, like, super annoyed. I probably will end this event with not getting a single one because I'm not going to sit here and farm, like, fuck farming. Because I'll never use him. I'll never use him. He's just for collection purposes. Can I? Hey, I got the card for once on the video. Jeez. Good lord. Uh, on a side note, they actually dubbed the game. You guys have probably heard it and noticed. Honestly, I, I'm just playing with it right now just to kind of get the feel for it. This is a game that should have been dubbed a long time ago, but a lot of times they don't dub these mobile games and stuff like that. But honestly, I'm a little bit more partial to the Japanese one just because I'm so used to it, and I actually prefer the Japanese anime. That's my opinion. But, uh, yeah, that's it today, guys. We got the card, so I'm happy about that nonetheless. And uh, I'll try to bring a little bit more Dokkan content. Like I said, I, I just don't play. It's a little stale right now. You know, I'm waiting for certain things to happen, especially in global. Like, I want the future Trunks event to come and, uh, no, the, the history of Trunks events to come and, like, stuff like that. So we'll see this uh, this Frieza. I should probably be back for that Frieza video. Whether it's free-to-play guide or not, I'll drop a video on it. But that is it for me, guys. <laughs> uh, subscribe if you're new here. Leave a like. Stay swaggy. Peace out, guys.